outside, outside the lab, the nice, safe lab. I know you miss the outdoors, so here we are, having fun. So that's what fresh air smells like. Interesting. Was that a cricket? No. Oh, bullfrog? Maybe a nice bullfrog? Maybe not. Ah! indoors. Come on, lab rat. You're not gonna stay in there forever, are you? That's the general idea. Oh, you're a grossologist. How do you expect to get your work done? I designed this lab, including the excretion disposal facility. You mean bathroom? I've got everything I need to operate efficiently from in here. Everything. What about Hermes? Hmm. What about Hermes? It's your decision to stay in there, but it's not fair to keep him cooped up, is it? Yeah, just, uh, just bring Hermes out and we can talk this thing through, and uh, then we... Hey. <sighs> They're right, little buddy. I can't keep you locked up in here with me. Ty and Abby are the only people in the world I trust to look after you. <laughs> Goodbye, pal. Hermes, I just fed you. My backpack isn't dessert. Can you believe that crazy story of his? Giant <laughs> owl, my bulbar conjunctiva. What? That's part of the human eye. I really wish you'd stop reading that medical textbook. Paige, is that a gift for me? I always wanted my own school. Hello, Abby. As student council president, it's my school, and I'm aiming to win the most beautiful school contest. Ah! Gross. And icky rats aren't part of it. We have enough vermin here already. I mean, look at this place. It's crawling with pigeons and covered in their... Oh, 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 oh that is so gross. Not to me. Pigeons are fascinating, and so is their excrement. Bird droppings are actually their solid and liquid waste mixed together. Very efficient. The liquid part, uric acid, is what makes it white. Ah! For later. <laughs> Being weird runs in your family, huh? Don't get too attached to those winged rats. I want them gone. And what Paige wants, Paige gets. Mr. Fowler! <laughs> You, you, you called Miss Page? Mr. Fowler, there are still piles of pigeon poop out here. Are you the janitor or not? Uh, 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 technically, uh, no. Uh, the other janitor is on stress leave, and, and, and I'm 
Just do your job. Ta-da! We feel for you, Mr. Fowler. Pigeons are tough to get rid of. Once a flock settles into a location, they like to stay there. <laughs> Don't I know it. <sighs> well, well uh, I'm the maintenance engineer. I, I don't clean things. I, I fix and I build things. Like this mop and bucket gizmo of yours? Cool. I love funky gadgets. Oh, me too. I just love tinkering. It's my job and my hobby too. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. great hobby. The pigeon problem is outside, Mr. Fowler. <laughs> the pigeons aren't the only pests at this school. <laughs> is it just me, or are there a lot more pigeon droppings out here now? You'd know, Mr. I collect bird poop for fun. Ugh, gross! somebody your own size. Regular clothes really don't handle gross situations well. Check out my new poop suit. <gasps> Look! Normal amounts of bird droppings are already mildly corrosive. Huge piles of it, a lot more so. It's all the uric acid in it. If they didn't clean bird poop off statues and buildings, they'd dissolve over time. So much for our poop suits. Things go out of style so fast. Hello, remember me? If you want something analyzed, just put in front of the scanner, okay? Come on, lab rat, we need you. We have some nice owl stomach contents out here. You do? Could you slip some under the door? No, but if you come out, you can have a whole bucket full. Mmm, no can do. I'm staying put. Uh, don't worry, Hermes, he'll come out. Someday. We have to get him out of there. I know. If the director finds out he's not at his post, he'll freak. Abby, <gasps> Ty, where is Lab Rat? Director, he's, um, busy in the washroom. Well, get him out. I need him immediately. Okay, but, you know, with the noises I've been hearing, uh, he may not be finished. What? Uh, um, uh, second thought. I'll call back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a normal owl pellet from our archives for comparison. Owls usually eat small birds or mice, voles, and other rodents, including rats, Mr. Nosy. A pellet is the spewed up remains of anything the owl can't digest. Things like fur, feathers, and bones. Now, let's look at our giant owl pellet. <gasps> our vibrating owl pellet? A live pigeon? There shouldn't be anything alive in an owl pellet. Maybe this pigeon is just really, really good at holding its breath? Abby, this pellet is artificial. It's not a waste repository, it's a cage. What is going on here? Let's find out. 
I'll tag him with a tracking chip and set him free. Good thinking. We can follow his trail and gather more clues. There he goes. It's working perfectly. Now we... Huh? Hermes. Uh -huh. Go back to chewing the backpack, huh, pal? Mr. Fowler did it. The pigeons are gone. The school is all cleaned up. Our pigeon hasn't settled anywhere yet. Guess we just have to wait. I see Mr. Fowler set up some pigeon deterrents. Spikes to prevent landing, goo to make services slick, and wire mesh to deter nesting. He's been working late. And early. Look. Four and twenty birds. He sure Make likes that song. Pie. Mr. Fowler? Hmm? Don't tell me they've got you replacing the cook now, too. Uh -huh. oh, oh, hi, kids. Uh, d uh, no, uh, well, actually, uh, I'm hiding from Paige. She's relentless. That's one word for her. There's also annoying, bossy, pushy. So how are the pigeon deterrents working? Are they keeping them away? No. Unless you cover the school with chicken wire, they keep coming back. I try to keep up with their poop. I mop, I scrub, I scrape. But there's always more, more, more! Problem is, nothing scares pigeons. They're smart. They know. Just look at them, laughing at me. But not for long. Oh, Paige! If she sees me, I'm a goner. I just need one more day. Then the pigeons will be gone for good. Mr. Fowler, you've got to relax. Oh, there's the bell. You kids better get back to class. <laughs> Paige in her most beautiful school contest has really messed him up. Mr. Fowler, you forgot your book. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. Hmm, that's the nursery rhyme he keeps singing. Why would he be reading this? Mr. Fowler! Hey, Mr. Fowler, you dropped this. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you with this? No! Huh? Uh, uh, I, I mean, careful. <laughs> I'm taking apart the furnace to fix it. Could be dangerous. <gasps> Mr. Fowler! Are you all right? <laughs> Don't know what got into me there. <laughs> I guess I just have vermin on my mind today. <laughs> Sorry, little fella. Ty, that beeping was your pigeon tracker. We're getting a reading. This is strange. According to this, our pigeon is close and, and below us. But how? Hmm, must be the basement. Huh? We'll come back tonight when the place is empty. I like spying on Mr. Fowler, but he's acting really wacky. Mr. Fowler, come on out. This giant owl caper is over. <gasps> Mr. Fowler. Fowler! You created a robotic owl suit? This has gone far enough. It's the pigeons who have gone too far. <laughs> If 
only I'd invented my owl suit earlier, I could have solved my pigeon problem ages ago. At least I'm fixing it now in a big way. You couldn't have waited to free that pigeon? Wings, Fowler. Don't forget the wings. Four and twenty black birds baked in a pie. <laughs> Not the most dramatic supervillain exit ever. Well, he is a newbie. Uh, uh. Just use the grossometer to call for help. I would, but it's in my backpack. Lab rat's locked in the can anyway. And the director wouldn't come within a mile of all this poop. We have to get out of here. If he comes back, we might end up in one of these. Whatever Mr. Fowler is up to, we have to stop him. Ugh. We gotta get out of this cage. Hermes? Hermes, come here, pal. <gasps> I thought we left you at the lab, you sneaky little stowaway. Abby, look. It's the pigeon poop Mr. Fowler cleaned up. There's so much of it, it's dissolving the bucket. Hermes, fetch. Come on, Hermes. Press it. Press it. Good boy. This is gonna be messy. Stand back. Woo! Thank you, you're a gassid. Now, how do we find Mr. Fowler? Let's ask our pigeon. It's still tagged. A barn on the outskirts of town? Makes perfect sense, Abby. Pie-shaped face, inset ears. He's made a beeline straight to a barn. Huh? He's a barn owl. Sheesh, do your research. Sorry. Anyway, it's not a barn owl type. It's a mad janitor. He's more owl than mad. Here's where he took the furnace. <gasps> it's powering a giant oven. Mr. Fowler's going to bake all the pigeons. Blackbirds baked in a pie, but with pigeons instead? He can't be serious. <laughs> <gasps> Tomorrow's cafeteria special, pigeon pot pie. <laughs> can work this out. Just step away from the pie. The pigeons might be pests, but you control them. You don't cook them. Release the birds or we'll... <laughs> hmm? Those are goop shooters? Knock! <laughs> Owl, actually. Hit the ground! <laughs> Hermes, stay here where it's safe. The owl, it's back! I really missed your keen sense of observation. This might be it, buddy. <laughs> oh. It's high. Abby, what's happening? Hermes, I'm trying to get over my fears, but I can't help, buddy. I just can't. You feathered garbage can! Lab rat! <sighs> Not good! Lab, Lab rat, rat! Watch, watch out! out. Zero. 
Oh, birds baked in a pie. Hermes, where are you? I didn't want to. Yeah. Hermes! He short-circuited the suit. Our furry nibbler strikes again. <sighs> That's my rodent. I'm so glad you're safe, pal. Lab rat, you're outside? Hermes was in danger. I had to come. Uh, and I was concerned for you guys, too, of course. Uh-huh. Uh, but how did you get out here? I hid in the back of GRS-1. I wanted to help earlier, but I was too scared to come out. <sighs> well, you sure showed up when we needed you most. I did, didn't I? And all it took was another heart-stopping, incredibly freaky situation. Now this is more like it. Check. Everything's back to normal. The pigeons are home to roost, and the school's plastered with pigeon poop. You're happy about this? My only chance of winning the most beautiful school award flew away when these pests came back. I bet you had something to do with this. <laughs> now that was beautiful. Thank you.